I'm Les, adult programming librarian at Jessamine County Public Library. Coming to you from my own front porch this morning because we're going to make cool stuff out of old garden hoses. Now, I don't know about you guys, but once every year for many years, I had to buy a new garden hose. They get knotted, twisted, messed up. And I have a problem throwing out good sturdy rubber that looks like it could be useful. So I did some searches and found that a lot of people were making handy mats out of them. These things can go in front of your garage door for wiping your feet or go under plants to protect your deck and patio from water stains. And they're pretty simple to make. So all you're gonna need this morning are some scissors and some zip ties. Now I did try making these mats in a couple different ways. I tried to make them with wire, which worked but was challenging and I also tried making them with duct tape which kind of worked with, but was very unattractive so zip ties are definitely the best and you can get them right at Kroger so next time you're in the grocery store you can pick some up go get yourself a garden hose get it cleaned off I just use a little bleach these aren't perfectly clean but they're about as clean as they're gonna get and we'll get started First, you want to cut the end off of your hose. A pair of garden nippers works pretty well for that. Then fold the end of your garden hose in, like so. Get a zip tie and zip tie it together. Now you're going to have a bunch of these little edges. That's not a problem keep them all on the same side and we'll nip them off when we're done. Next you're going to slip another zip tie in the fold. Roll the hose around a little bit more. And zip tie again. Now if you've got someone else to hold your fold for you, that's a handy thing to have. If not, just kind of leverage it on the table, the ground. And you're going to keep going and keep slipping zip ties inside the fold and keep locking it down. Now if you're clever you can align the zip ties in sort of a pattern so in your final rug it'll look more finished and attractive. Just keep going around. Now, some recommendations. The thicker, heavy, more heavy duty garden hose is obviously more difficult to roll so if you've got an old thinner garden hose you'll have better luck and if it happens to be a nice hot day your hose will be a little bit more pliable Found garden nippers work really well for snipping off the ends of those zip ties. Here's another way you might consider making a mat. I've cut my hose into a bunch of pieces of equal length. Then I've drilled a hole in the end of each piece like so. Then stuck a zip tie through that hole. And zip tied it to another piece down here. A 
about every three pieces, I'm going to zip tie them together so that they, they lay flat and straight. And we'll keep going across until we have a full mat, and then we'll do the other side. So I'm zip tying every three pieces of hose together, just so they stay straight. And then I'm zip tying each group of three to one another through the outer two pieces of hose. So to secure that end piece, you'll have one last stretch of hose, drill holes in each end as you've done for all the others, then with this little piece sticking out the edge of your mat, drill a hole going this direction. Then slip the zip tie through this hole and through the hole on the end of your piece. Now this piece can't come out and you can secure it to the end, the other side of your mat, and finish at the other side. Then just as before, we'll take our garden nippers and get rid of all those loose ends. Here we have completed garden hose mat number one and completed garden hose mat number two. Thanks for watching today. Be sure to subscribe to the Jessamine County Public Library YouTube channel. See you around.